Oh, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back, well, just to a channel chat, actually. <laughs> I'm not going to say uh, welcome back to Vintage Story, because this is actually my creative world. Well, it's not in creative mode, but this is where I come to practice things. So, no, I haven't uh, deleted the entire playthrough and started over or anything like that. This is a completely different world. But at any rate, it's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm just using it as a backdrop. What's going on with the channel and things related to it? Well, first of all, because I, I did an, uh, talk about this on one of my farm sim videos, but not all of my viewers watch the farm sim videos. Um, I will be decreasing the... Um, so maybe they don't need to know this. Hmm. I will be... <laughs> and have been decreasing the amount of videos per week of farm sim that I put up just because as as good a job as Giants has been doing you know and it is testimony to them that the game has made it almost three years and still has pe have people that you know are enthusiastic about playing it or enthusiastic about making mods for it and all of that the issue is is at its heart it's a game of not a lot of real base mechanics, you know. Um, there's a lot of machines, a lot of skins, there's a lot of things to do. But, you know, things like all the field work is basically the same mechanic, reskinned with different mappings for the field textures when you're done. Right? It's a huge percentage of the game. Introduce logging. Well, it's really cool. There's a lot of different things to do from firewood to, you know, large-scale industrial sawmills. But again, it's a mechanic that after three years, well, we've done it a bunch of times. So long story short, yeah, until 22 comes out in, well, only another month from... Hey, today, actually. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go down to three or four, maybe five episodes a week on a good week. So just to, to not completely kill what's left of it and kind of maybe get a little bit of excitement, enthusiasm going forward towards 22. So, and like I say, testament to Giants and how they are doing things. I'm concerned with the way they might be doing things in the future. Um, debuting a season's pass before a game is even released, for instance, really makes me think that FS22 might be the last full release of a farm sim game we see, and that we may in fact end up getting yearly DLCs, you know, that will introduce a few new skins, a few new maps, that sort of thing. I think that's really where it's headed. Which I guess is fine, you know, um, unless they're updating the engine, there probably really is no reason to put out an entirely new game. Um, other things. Unlike Giants, Funcom is a game company that the more I have to deal with them, the more I dislike. Um, for those of you unaware, that would include such games as Conan Exiles. A game that I really, really like. I like playing it. I like building in it. Um, the combat's reasonably good. Um, you know, it's all all around. It's a pretty darn good game. It's too bad it's being run by such a buffalo of a company. Um, I went to record an episode this morning thinking, geez, it's been a while since I put a Conan up there. I, I, I think I'm going to play some. And I launched my recording software, and, well, it didn't launch. It needed to update. <laughs> but that's fine. Half a minute later, and it had launched after having updated. And then I launched Conan. And get the same message. Yeah, Conan is updating. We will launch after the update. I'm like, oh, great. It's going to be one of those days. Perfect. And, uh... Hmm. It starts the update and I notice the little fill line on the bottom that tells you how it's getting along just is not filling up so I go to the Steam page it's a 60 gigabyte update so I go and look at the 
quote unquote patch. It's a couple of small bug fixes, um, a little bit of change to this, that. And the, I mean, something that generally should have been kind of like my recording software, a half minute load and gone. Now, they did just release another DLC, and because unlike most games that run servers, rather than saying if you're on this server you must have these mods to play they just do the other way where if you have the game every single dlc they have ever released is installed into your game you just can't access it unless you pay for it and this is so that if somebody on your server has the you know falling out of the sky pack they don't appear to you as naked because you can't see their armor and they don't appear to not have a building they're walking around in because you can't see their custom building blocks. So, but even that doesn't make up 60 gigs. I mean, think about that. 60 gigs. That's like six full-length DVDs loading into your computer. And they've always done that. And on top of it, of course, it breaks all the mods. So then you have to hope that the mods that you're running for your game do get updated in a fairly timely fashion by the mod authors, providing they still have an interest in a game that their mod has been broken in four times in the last year. Long story short, guys, yeah, I, I've just... I don't mind playing it single player because like i say it's fun to build in um most of the aspects of the game i quite enjoy but as a let's play it's a freaking disaster i mean it just broke a couple weeks ago after a patch one of the mods became incompatible to the point where it broke my game um did i check to make sure every mod i had installed had been updated no i didn't so i suppose in the long run it's my fault but it's not my fault that they're want a 60 gig download to give you three kilobytes of information and a bunch of skins from a dlc you don't have so yeah i'm not going to be featuring conan as an lp on my channel anymore there you go uh some of the other stuff i was uh, very pleasantly amazed i recently uploaded a new uh, a new gameplay of Bopio, a factory game and was shocked that it, it looked like a completely different game. You know, now granted, I mean, it's a very early access thing, so you're expecting changes, but boy, what changes. I mean, even the art style didn't seem the same, and it was an improvement all around. Um, I suppose it was even more mind-blowing because the other game I'd chosen to record a new episode of that morning was Screw Up. And it was the same thing. It was not the same game that I featured a month ago on a first look. Um, it had gone from sort of a casual, all-store assets type of thing to the point where the game got a really rough start out of the gate because some other really shady developer um, released an almost identical game at, right at the same time and so everybody went oh yeah it's just two games they're just stock store assets and but no the the screw up developer already had a roadmap in place at that time so he seemed more legit and like i said now after there you know there was a major update so i thought well okay let's go in and check it out completely different game it's now an actually fairly tough survival game <laughs> So, yeah, um, good on those, and I hope we can feature more of those. Now, those sort of games that are that early in early access, I try not to do complete Let's Plays. You know, I like to jump back into them when patches are released. The reason being is because I think a lot of games end up never being appreciated at release because there has been so much playtime put into the early access versions that by the time release comes... Well, certainly channels don't feature them anymore. You know, they've already done three full seasons of that game. You know, um... So, I find with games like that, better to just do it when the patches come out. 
you know, that way the game stays fresh, and when it is fully released, you can go, okay, let's do a Let's Play, we can get all of the mechanics together, it all works, let's do it. So, games like that are going to be, uh, I will feature them, as I say, during patches and such, and uh, we'll go from there. The same thing with the other two factory games I have going, uh, Evo Space, I am going to continue it. I took a pause from it because the developer kept saying, you know, there's a big patch, it's going to, there's a bunch of, ch I should have uh, paid a little more attention because what it in fact turned out to be, the patch was released and I didn't notice any changes. Well, that's because I was playing the developer mode, which is, was 18.2. Well, it turned out the patch he was going to release was the public branch of 18.2. So, yeah, I kind of delayed playing that for no no real reason. So we are going to get back to that. Um, Foundation, the other factory game I started, um, it's sort of the same sort of thing. It's a really, really early release at this point. You know, and I think we've got enough of it in to understand the mechanics of it and see what sort of a thing it's heading toward and the next time there's a big patch released i'll jump back in and we'll see what it's changed and how much the game has progressed so that's <laughs> i hear a raccoon hello are you oh i know what he's doing the bugger is after my berries that's why i have a fence eh because raccoons will eat your berries. The bug Ooh, these are ripe too. Man. Like I said, this is just my trial world. So, yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't restarted. Cool, eh? Running a sort of half hydroponic system for my gardening here. <laughs> but at any rate. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of where those sort of games are. Um, my vintage story let's play I am going to continue with. Um... It has also just recently been updated. As far as I can tell, not major, major things have been changed. But by the same token, it does a, a two-second check when you load your... Even with all of the mods and stuff I have in place, it checked it all out, went, Yeah, you're good to go, continue your save. So, yeah, even, uh, even the folks developing this kind of Minecrafty clone are doing a better job than fun cam fun call so at any rate guys i think that's uh i think that's pretty much everything i wanted to cover it's quite a pretty world this one is not <laughs> yeah as you can see i learned from my first go through and started with a huge garden <laughs> there we go so I appreciate you uh, taking the time out to uh, listen to my blathering here today, and uh, hope to uh, hope to see you in the uh, the next episode of whatever we play next. So, always welcome your comments, your suggestions, your thoughts. So, uh, make sure you fill in some of that big space down below and slam that like button on your way out. Take care of each other, folks. Ciao for now.